After I spent $8,000 of my own money on small gun safes, I tested the biometrics, I found deadly design flaws, I tested long-term reliability, and a couple of safes broke all by themselves. And then I probably tested over 10 small gun safes to see just how tough they really are. And with all that, these are my top gun safe picks. This is the Century Biometric Gun Safe. Main features, it's built super damn tough, taking over 23 minutes of full force pry attack with stage three tools. Not in a million years did I ever think it would be this tough, just with one locking latch. The Century Safe features a gas strut to help lift and lower that heavy steel lid. Enter the safe with either the biometrics, electronic number pad, or mechanical key. And now onto my pry rating. Take a look at just how much damage this way under $200 safe took. This little safe gives you real pry protection. I have the full pry test on my channel if you wanted to see just how tough this safe is. The Century Safe earns a four out of five pry rating. Now my quick access rating. I tested my Sentry Safe for over 3 years without any issues, and even though it took a lot of damage, it still registers my fingerprint to this day, as you can see here. The biometrics are also more secure than my $300 vault tech and it passed my wet and powder test. What's not to like here? The Sentry Safe earns a 5 out of 5 quick access rating. Final thought, I would say this is more than just a gun locker. It's truly a tiny safe. Sentry is my top budget brand. This is Viking's biometric gun safe. Main features, the Viking safe has one of the best biometric sensors in its prize class. I will go into this more with my quick access rating. You can also enter the safe with its backlit number pad, and the backlight also functions as a battery level indicator, LED interior light with pre-drilled holes for permanent placement. And now onto my pry rating. The build of this safe looks similar to the all safe I pry tested here. The all safe is slightly tougher in my opinion. The Viking has one single locking latch, and that latch is smaller than what is found on the all safe. The Viking gets a 2.5 out of 5 pry rating. Now my quick access rating. This may not be the toughest safe locker, but it will work when you need it to. I have extensively tested its FBI rated biometric sensor, and it easily passed all my tests. This is the same biometric sensor found on my verified safes I tested here, and you can use the number pad or mechanical key as a backup. The Viking safe gets a 5 out of 5 quick access rating. Final thought, this is one of the most trusted biometric safe lockers you can get for under $200. It's not the toughest, but it's going to work when you need it to. This is the Verify Biometric Rifle Safe. Main features. The Verify Safe features a self-diagnostic test every 24 hours or after every use. There's also an open door alarm, battery meter, tamper alerts, and data log. Automatic opening and locking door also comes with adjustable shelves and includes five padded barrel holders. Designed to fit two ARs or AK-type rifles with magazines attached. Adjustable interior light and the best biometrics I tested out of all major safe brands. And now onto my pry rating. This looks to be a stronger rifle locker than most in its class, say compared to this RPMB style rifle lockers you see here. With concealed hinges and recessed door that helps protect against pry attacks, the Verify Safe gets a 4 out of 5 pry rating. Now my quick access rating. Verify Safe's feature an FBI rated touch chips TCS1 fingerprint sensor. In my biometric test is easily passed my wet and powder test. It was also the hardest safe to biohack. You can see these advanced biometric tests on my channel. The Verify Safe gets a 5 out of 5 quick access rating. Final thought, I have owned two Verify Safe's that have performed flawlessly over 3 years. These are quality safe's that I put my trust into. This is the Vault-Tec VS-10i Smart Safe. Main features, four ways to access safe, biometric fingerprint or through vault -Tec's app, number pad, or mechanical key. And there is an optional Nano Smart Key as you can see here. The safe features an automatic opening lid, interior light, and a rechargeable battery that lasts up to four to six months. Also comes with a steel tether cord for quick securement and has two pre drilled holes for permanent placement. And now onto my pry rating. The VS-10i is made from 18 gauge high carbon steel unibody construction. With its two locking latches and anti-pry design, even with its thinner 18 gauge steel construction, this safe is going to be a problem to pry into. These are well made and designed little safes. The VS-10i gets a 5 out of 5 pry rating. Now my quick access rating. The biometrics pass both my wet and powder tests as you can see here. The biometrics open in just one second flat. You also have the number pad and key backup. The vault -Tec VS-10i gets a 5 out of 5 quick access rating. Final thought, my vault -Tec VS-20i has been 100% reliable. You can count on this brand to open when you need it to. This is the King, Fort Knox PB1 Multi-Gun Safe. Main features, when I lock my gun in a little tank of a safe, I want to know I can get it out. That's why I'm 100% sold on the Cobb by Simplex push button lock. And it's not cheap all by itself as you can see here. Plus Fort Knox has a lifetime warranty and are made in the USA. And now onto my pry rating. I tried to pry into this little tank and as you can see here with my PB1 model, I can tell you this, my pry tools are pretty much useless. Even if I could get some pry leverage, you're now dealing with thick 10 gauge steel and this massive steel bolt. I base my top tier rating system on how Fort Knox safes are designed and built. The Fort Knox gets a 5 out of 5 pry rating. Now my quick access rating. If my life is on the line, I don't want batteries or electronics to worry about. I want a 100% mechanical safe. That's why my Fort Knox is my personal bedside safe. Safe. The push button lock is fast and easy to use, and it's just going to work for years to come. The Fort Knox earns a 5 out of 5 quick access rating. Final thought, Fort Knox safes are my go-to vehicle safes. Neither extreme cold or heat will affect these little tanks. 
This is the Stealth Shadow SV-1 gun safe. Main features, this is the most secure gun safe you can buy, even more secure than a Fort Knox, Feline, or even Viking safe, and here is why. The Stealth Shadow features a UL approved SNG Spartan electronics deadbolt. This thing is even EMP rated. SNG locks are the type of electronics found on bigger safes. You won't find this on any other small safes. The Stealth safe features a super thick 7 gauge steel lid, 10 gauge steel body with a gas strut to help lift that heavy lid, foam interior with space for two full size pistols. And now onto my prior rating. With the 7 gauge steel lid, and still deadbolt, the stealth safe is on another level of protection. Even a skilled attacker is going to have major problems with this little safe. If you need the best of the best, this is it. The SV-1 gets a 6 out of 5 rating. It just broke my rating system. Now my quick access rating. The UL listed SNG electronic lock is simply the best you can find in the small safe category. Just simply input your code and twist the dial and you're in. The Shadow Vault SV-1 gets a 5 out of 5 quick access rating. Final thought. The Shadow SV-1 is the most secure small gun safe you can find. This would be my go-to storage option, but also a great quick access bedside safe. It's a tank. How I rate stuff. I know it looks like I rate everything highly, but I really did spend $8,000 on these small safes. All put on my credit cards and then I get no views on YouTube. All right, enough about my suffering. So let's start with the curious case of the Bill Conch. Uh. This locker would lock down in place with your right hand, as you can see here, but with only one small tap in the middle of the lid, it would open all by itself. I even thought it might have been possessed by Satan, but that actually turned out not to be the case. You have to press down in the middle of the lid to lock the lid down, as there are two locking latches with this locker. And trust me, that's one deadly design. Now onto the pry test. The build conch was tougher than I thought it would be with this sheet metal build. And as you can see here, the two locking latches broke off into the body, but they did detach from the sheet metal lid. The build conch got a two and a half out of five pry rating. Now here is the RPMB lockbox with only one tiny locking latch, as you can see here. By the way, if you ever see this tiny locking latch design, it's probably not going to be a tough locker. Anyway, here is the full pry test. And there you go, 8 seconds to pry open. The RPMB got a 1 out of 5 pry rating. This list is not in order because I wanted to show this Scythe lockbox as it has a similar latch design as the RPMB. It was a little tougher and took 1 minute and 8 seconds to a stage 1 pry tools. The Scythe got a 2 out of 5 pry rating. And here is the RPMB single pistol locker. Side note, this locker would drain its batteries as it sat. This is not good and was the only locker to have battery drain issues. And here is the full pry test. And that's another 1 out of 5 pry rating for RPMB. Let's move up half a rating from the RPMB with the Onias. The Onias looks just like the Ananas. I'm just going to call it the Anus for now on. They do look the same, but they are not 100% the same. And here is the Anus test. Starting with stage 1. So let's see how fast we get in here. The anus just popped open in 13 seconds with stage 1 pry tools. And here is the Anias test. So that one took 35 seconds and actually bent the lid. The Onias earned a 1.5 out of 5 pry rating. And here is the only cheap brand that stood out, even though it was recalled for its biometrics. But I do believe Allsafe has fixed the biometric issues as of now. I really thought I was going to get in fast and easy with this under $100 safe. But as you can see here, it does have a nice size single locking latch. And to my surprise, took 3 minutes and 82 seconds with level 3 pry tools. And so there is my 3 out of 5 pry rating. Now we move to a stage 4 rating, the Sentry Safe. You will need to go to my channel and find the full test because it took 23 minutes and 47 seconds with stage 3 pry tools. That was not fun or easy, trust me. So what is a stage 5 rating? Pretty much means pry attacks aren't going to work. Here is my Fort Knox PB1. The design alone prevents any possibility to pry into as you can see here. Stage 5 is pretty much angle grinder territory. And there you go, my 1 out of 5 pry rating system. Until next time, see you then.